Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Let's take a look at Garrett Wilson, number five, Ohio State Junior. You're going to see him here run basically a post fade. A little double move here against off coverage. Gets open. And he has about two to three steps on the man, but just can't bring the ball down. You're going to see the ball go through his hands from the red zone view here. Let's take a look at it right now. And you're going to see at this point, you know, he gets open. Like we said, the route's good. We're going to talk about that. This is just a tough catch. He's got to make a full extension play on it. And he gets his hands up, but his hands are kind of far away, and he claps on the ball. So when you clap your hands together on the ball, you're not really meeting the ball. You're trying to coordinate your timing of your hands coming together as a ball, a spinning ball is falling to earth. You really want the hands together so that they meet the ball in a static position rather than moving your hands towards a moving ball. Here's another example of Wilson clapping onto the football. You can see him at the bottom right here, he's gonna run a comeback with a quarterback rolling out to the right side. Okay, so let's watch this occur. Here's the snap. You see Wilson down below here at the right and he works back towards the quarterback. Watch his hands though, he has his hands together it looks like but then see how he kind of brings them out and makes that last minute clapping movement he has to let the ball meet his hands he's trying to clap onto the ball and that's you know as we're seeing in this game alone that's a repeat problem for him that he's going to have to address so that's something that he can improve upon but let's take a look at the route because the route's really nice you're going to watch him here as he motions here Let's see if he gets into a set stance. He does. He gets into an 80-20 stance. He's got the um, hands on either side of his knees are not crossed, which really doesn't matter against off coverage here. But again, it's nice that he practices this stance well, and he releases off the line without much movement. He rolls off the front foot. He gets the pads over the knees. Good job selling the vertical. But what I really like is how he tells the story here. Watch how he... He's moving to the outside. He's moving outside the numbers and attacking the defender to the outside as if he's basically setting up a route breaking to the inside because here he goes with that break to the inside to the post. The fact that he's the way he sells this route is because he makes the route look like he's running a post. The sale to the outside makes the defender, you know, he's challenging the defender to the outside to set up an inside break. So when the defender sees that inside break after seeing that outside sell, it gives it a true feeling of a one break route. So he's going to react to that. He's also going to react to it because as you notice, Wilson actually turns inside here and gets his chest and shoulder around a little bit well before he makes that stick. It's on the second or third step where he makes this stick. So he sells the defender on the turn for at least a good two steps before he makes that stick to put on the brakes, get underneath the man, and then he gives the nice little arm over there to chop through the reach of the defender who's already overrun the, the route, reacting to that post. And that's where you get the separation. So this is a nice route from Garrett Wilson. You see a lot of nice fundamental things. He's fundamentally very quick. You can see that he has the vertical speed that you're looking for from a defender. Um, from a receiver against a defender, you know, against a cornerback. If you can get two to three steps on a cornerback playing off coverage on a double move, you've done your job. You know, the way he sells the route with his stem, with his first break, and then using his hands against the off coverage when the man shoot, when the, the defender shoots his hands, all very good work. Good body awareness. He just can't reach the ball because he clapped onto it. So he's got to learn how to finish so that he's not clapping. And if he figures out how to do that so that his hands are uniform, his pinkies are together when he's going up for this, then the clapping doesn't have to ensue and he has a much better chance of being able to secure this ball. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.